Hi everyone, my name is Chris Heslin. I'm with the Positive Choice Integrative Wellness Center where we focus on healthy plant-based eating. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a really, really simple recipe for an energy bite. And you just got a few really simple ingredients, they're all plant-based, and let's get to it. So, first ingredient is going to be some sort of nut butter. This is peanut butter. Um, fully organic. Get the expensive stuff, if I can just say it myself. You know, the cheap stuff, you kind of get what you pay for. Good nut butters, when they sit, they should separate. They should, the oil should separate from the nuts. You just mix it back up. So we've got some peanut butter here. This is ground flaxseed. Now, flaxseed has got all sorts of nutritional benefits. It's got some great omega-3s in there. It's got some good fiber as well. And you can find ground flaxseed at any major grocery store. Super easy to find. The next player here, I've got some dates. Now, these are pitted and dried dates. There's a lot of different date varieties out there. Um, and this one here is, I believe, a Deglet Noor date, but there's also um, a couple others out there. Just make sure that the, uh, the pits are removed. And you've got about a cup of these. And we've got some mini chocolate chips. Um, go for at least 70% cacao if you can find them. You can find vegan chocolate chips as well. Um, so we've got about a half cup of those. And then we've got some rolled oats. You can find rolled oats anywhere. And what you want is just plain rolled oats. You don't want any sweeteners or anything in there. Um, rolled oats are great in soluble fiber. That's why they get sort of gooey and sticky when they get wet. And uh, soluble fiber is great for your health, uh, namely your cholesterol. So let's start throwing these things together. We're going to start with putting a couple of the ingredients in our trusty food processor. I'm going to go ahead and just drop in the... Ground flax is a half cup of ground flaxseed. Just pour it in there. I'm going to throw my dates in. And with the dates, I would kind of sprinkle them around. Otherwise, when you hit go, you're going to end up with this huge date ball in there. So just sprinkle them around evenly. Somewhat doesn't have to be perfect. Perfect, right? And then we are going to put the peanut butter in there. I'm just going to use this to scoop it out. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and pulse this first. And the reason why I do that, because if I put everything in together and I have to let it go for too long, all the, uh, the nice flakiness of the oats gets ground up. So I like a little bit of the oats to stay intact. You'll see why here in a minute. So we're going to do this first. Let this mix. Perfect. So you're looking at something like that. Kind of looks like wet sand. Doesn't have to be completely perfectly mixed, but for the most part, the dates are broken up and the peanut butter and the ground flax are sort of uniform. And now it's really easy. We're just going to add our chocolate chips and our dates. Just kidding, our oats. The dates are already in there. And then we've got some seasoning. So I've got some cinnamon, ground cinnamon. It's about a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'm um, sorry, half a teaspoon. And then I'm going to put a teaspoon of our vanilla extract. Okay, so one full teaspoon. Easily done. And that's it. So now we're just going to run the food processor for a few more moments until all this is mixed up. You can pulse it a little bit. And here's where you can kind of play with the recipe. If, you, if it still looks like it's too dry, um, you can always add a little bit more peanut butter. I think this looks pretty good. I think it's going to stick together, but there's only one, one real way to find out. So let's always remove the blade before we put our hands in the food processor. And what you can do to sort of test this out is just grab a little handful and just squeeze it in your hand like that. And if it stays in somewhat of that form, then you're good to go. If it all just kind of falls into a bunch of crumbs, then put some more peanut butter in and run the food presser. But I think this is going to be good. I think we can form these into balls, just like that. The, up to you how big you want these things. You know, I like sort of marble to ping pong ball size. You could do golf ball or baseball. Or basketball is going to be a big one, but it's up to you. So you're looking at making little balls like this. And you're just going to do that. You, this is something that could be fun with the kids. You know, they can get their hands dirty. Don't worry about making a mess. Clean up later. And 
you get the idea. So we're just going to make these little balls. I'm going to put them on a plate. And then once we're done, we'll put all of these in the refrigerator to help them set for a few moments. And then you can enjoy your, your healthy energy bite, energy bite treat. Now, the other thing you can do, and I didn't show this in this demo, is you can add a little bit of protein powder. It will dry it out a little bit. So you definitely will need to put some peanut butter in to match so that you can uh, keep the texture nice and gooey so you can form them into balls. That will just up the protein content a little bit as well. So we'll be right back after we roll these all into balls. All right, so as you can see, we've taken our mixture and rolled them into these nice ping pong ball sized uh, little energy bites. So now, I mean, you can literally put these in the refrigerator. Like I said, it'll set and, um, and make them sort of a cold treat. You could actually take one and eat it right now and enjoy it. Healthy, you've got all natural ingredients. It's all plant-based. You've got some good fiber in here. Um, the sugar is natural and the dates. You've got some omega-3s, like I said, from the flax, a healthy energy bite, very simple to get the ingredients. So happy, healthy eating.